Let us understand how do we find the total surface area for a hollow cylinder. We will take a very simple approach to understand the concept and derive the formula in this particular video. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will understand what a hollow cylinder is and then we will derive a formula for total surface area. Well, the formula is given to us here. We will see that this really works, okay? So, the first thing, what is a hollow cylinder? So, hollow cylinder means from inside it is hollow, but it has got two surfaces, right? As shown in the diagram, we have in this hollow cylinder two thin sheets of rectangle folded in circular form, right? So, so we can say outer sheet, right, over just folded, whose radius is capital R and the inner sheet, whose radius is small r, right. So, so that is how it becomes hollow, right, hollow from inside. Now, let height be h. So, when we say surface area, in that case, we are looking into curved surfaces, so curved surface outer, let me write C O, will be 2 pi R, right, circumference, outer is capital R, so let me write 2 pi capital R. And then we have curved surface inner, which will be 2 pi small r times h. So, when we say total surface area, in that case, inner and outer surfaces will contribute towards the surface area. They are exposed, right? And then we have top and bottom. And those are circular, right? So, which is like pi r square, right? So, we have pi capital R square minus pi small r square for the bottom, right? And similarly, same for the top, so it gets multiplied by 2. So, that becomes the top and bottom circular surfaces, right? And total is add them all which we call total surface area. Is that clear to you, right? Perfect. So, we are representing this as A in the formula. So, let us now develop the formula. So, we have total surface area A as equal to the curved surface from outer which is 2 pi capital R H plus the curved surface of inner, which is 2 pi small r h plus pi r square minus pi r square 2 times, right? 2 times pi capital R square minus pi small r square. Is that clear to you? So, top and bottom, right? Now, we can clearly take 2 pi h common from the first two terms. We are left with r plus small r. In the second term, we can factor out pi, right? And we are left with r square minus small r square. Now, 
difference of squares can be written as sum and product. So, we can write this as 2 pi h r plus r plus 2 pi r plus r times r minus small r. Now, clearly we can take 2 pi r plus r common. And we are left with h plus 2 pi is taken common, r minus r. Let us rearrange. So, we get 2 pi capital R plus small r times capital R minus r plus h. Is that clear to you, right? So, that becomes the formula for total surface area for a hollow cylinder. Clear? So, that is how we will derive this particular form. Well, in the next video, we will see how do we isolate or change variable to capital R. Right? That will be very interesting. Okay. I hope you have understood the derivation. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.